I'm Susan, and I'm a truck driver. And what is that right there? Is that an old jack? Big hydraulic jack. Okay. I don't feel that I'm a typical woman in the fact that I like things that guys like. My backyard looks like a junkyard. It's like heaven for somebody that's a mechanic, you know, or that likes junk. I'm Charles, and Susan is my mom. My mom's got cars, boats, trailers, RVs, and she's just buying more. It's ridiculous. When they give me excellent prices, I don't care if it's something I don't need. I just get a rush out of getting a good deal. How much is the old toolbox? All right, no fast corners. I'm Jennifer, and Susan is my mom. My mom buys things that she thinks she can fix and sell it for more than she got it for, but that doesn't end up happening. They just end up collecting dust in a junkyard. I'm Mimi, and Susan is my daughter. I just try to do the best I can in the house. I have my wheelchair, and I've done so much all these years in my chair, but there are rooms in the house that are so stacked up I can't get to them or into them. I'm Brandy, and Susan is my aunt. We've been here, and they're going to lose everything. She may declare bankruptcy, and Mimi may have no place to go. Oh, yes, I have anger towards my mom, because we knew it would happen to the money. We knew it would be gone quickly. It's mayhem all the time. <laughs> I've yelled at her many a time before. I'm like, why does this mean more to you than everybody else? This is my only truck that I moved stuff with, so this one's definitely okay. not going anywhere. What about the next one? Um, My name's Corey Chalmers. I'm an extreme cleaner specializing in biohazard and hoarding. What are, what are you saying? You want me to junk a running vehicle? Is that what you're saying? We can't right. even start until we deal with these cars. She has to let go of some of these vehicles or we can't even get in the backyard. Is it running? Because I thought these were all, I thought we were talking about pushing them and towing them because they no, can't No, I just start. said I have some place I can put the vehicles. How many people have gas in their house? <laughs> this is pouring out on the ground. Oh my God. Hold it. I gotta put some more gas in the carburetor. Don't start until I tell you to. We're all gonna blow up. Okay, go for it. Are you ready to start in the backyard? Yes, uh-huh. Okay. I'm gonna get them back here and we'll start going through some of this stuff right here so we can make room to okay. work around this car. Do you want this old doll head? Uh, yeah. I don't, you see a kid playing with this? I guess. None of that goes. That's these are, these are all rusted. Don't you think we ought to get rid of those? No, uh, uh This was all the safe <laughs> pile right here. We're trying to haul off as much of my mom's stuff as we can. Can we get rid of this? No, it, you, I told you where to put it, in Mimi's. You didn't tell me what it's for. She's being pretty resistant to things that aren't worth anything. I'm going through there and trying to be as nice as possible. You're not and being nice, stuff. Chuck. When you're putting it in the truck without me there, that's not being nice. Where are you in all this? Let's see, where do you think I might have been, Chuck? I don't know, not out here. Yeah, right. She just moves right over them with mockery, sarcasm. Can you go do some big stuff with the guys instead of playing with the little stuff that I need to go through? Would there be any possible way of doing that? Charles is the one person who's standing up and saying, enough is enough. We're well, not bed keeping frames. bed frames I'm in keeping the backyard. Them. Who's going to want these? Are you going to sell them? You need to throw them away. Good luck. Flat tires and all. Watch that metal. 
Dang it! My knee is just split wide open. No. This is the problem. Mm. He just fell on this and sliced he just his leg. Sliced open. my whole kneecap. He's open. done now. Okay. How many people in this family are going to have to be affected by your mess before you will start letting it go instead of moving it around and stacking it everywhere? This is a serious injury to his leg. We're going to lose him now for the next few days. He's not going to be able to help us at all. Like he was the one person that was standing up to her, showing her that he wasn't afraid. And now he's gone. Oh my God. This is all because of your not willing to let go of stuff. When does it sink in? Like, when does it start to affect you? When do you shed a tear when all the rest of your family is? When? I haven't seen a bit of remorse from you yet. I don't even know what to say. I really don't. Cars need to be put on 100% hold. They are not important until all this gets done. This has got to be about Mimi and about the kids and about the people that it's affected and stuff. Everybody's starting to get it, that nobody is important really to Susan, and the kids will not put up with it. Susan is worried about her cars, and that's all she's been thinking about since she got here. And all I want to do is get this place cleaned up. That's why I came here, and that's what's going to happen. I don't give a f what Susan wants. Brandy has had a problem with me for a while, and she feels like that I'm jeopardizing her grandmother's life by having people over to help me fix my cars and bring my junk in and bring my junk out and stuff like that. You know what's going to happen in three days? She's going to lift on Craigslist every single thing that's at that house. She's going to try to with on Craigslist, and then people are going to be coming over here to Mimi. I mean, a sane person would say, Mimi, you're not safe here. I want you to have your own place. I want you to be safe. What we're saying is, at this point in time, after all these years, we're not willing to trust you with Mimi's safety her. anymore because it's dangerous for her. Mimi cannot stay here like this. It can't happen. Mimi has to move out. Try to let your heart go to, this is for my mother. Susan has never managed life completely on her own. As long as Mimi was in Susan's life, in Mimi's word, it was like two people with one leg holding on to each other. OK, I'll see you in just a little while, OK? All right, thanks. Okay. You bet. Uh -huh. Mimi's going to go back to our hotel where we're staying and she'll probably end up coming back to live near where I live so I can take care of her. This gives Susan a chance to stand on her own legs. It is a huge challenge for her. It is so important for Susan to see of living space, revitalized, open, free, is a symbol for what life could be like for her. You know, I think the family is really happy that we fixed up the house. Wow. I didn't even know there was a fireplace. But at the same time, the fact that we did a makeover in our room might inspire her a little bit, but I think it's going to be very temporary, and I think she's going to fill this house up again. A lot of mending that needs to go on in this family, right? It's this idea that there could be another way. A normal life. There could be yeah. another way to live life without bring along pain after pain after, to really have life that feels good. It will take a while for Susan to realize that the family is not going to succumb to manipulation. It's so important at this point in time for the family to have the strong boundaries so Susan is allowed to have the space she needs to continue to grow. Wow, this is great. Now, I do feel that this openness and the chance of a normal life, it could be there. I think it's just what's in my mind is that I'm going to eventually have a large yard sale and make a bundle of money.
Hi! Thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to a &E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.